do you have any tips for people? A lot of people who buy yeah. coals and feed the birds. I mean, I could also talk take all day pictures. on tips, but I mean, you know, probably the, the main ones I would have to say is really, you know, know your camera. Just, you know, just the basics of your camera. Because when I first started six years ago, I knew nothing. I mean, the only thing I ever used was a point and shoot and a camera from my iPhone. That was it. I had no idea what they were talking about when I'd read about apertures, ISO, shutter speed. I, I didn't know any of that. So I I almost gave up doing it. I, I bought a big lens. It was like on a good uh, or on a Black Friday sale. And uh, I put it on my camera, went out Friday afternoon. I couldn't I couldn't find anything. I, I, I couldn't take a good picture for nothing. And I, I said to myself, I'm just gonna take it back on Monday. You know, just, this isn't for me. And there was just a little voice in my head that said, hey, you don't really know, you know, you don't know anything about your camera. You know, at least maybe try going on YouTube and see if there's any videos on that. And there's quite a few videos. I mean, there was, you know, a lot of garbage, but there were some really good videos. And I found one particularly good one. I can't remember who it was from. It was just, I remember he was a young kid and he was, and he had the camera that I had. I just started out with just a, a, a Canon Rebel. And you know, he was talking really slow and he was holding the camera and he was showing you what he was doing. And I could, I can hold the camera and look at it as he was going through it. And it really helped me. And by the following Monday, you know, I was starting to take pictures. I mean, granted, they weren't great, but it was way better than what I did, you know, the Friday before. So I didn't give up. Yeah. It's not just about buying the equipment. It's about really knowing it. That's, yeah, that's yeah, such a so great There's so many point. photographers on Facebook friends with, they've got the fancy, you know, mirrorless cameras and that. I mean, you know, they're, yeah, they're great. I mean, that's, it's better than the camera I use, but you know, you can still get great pictures from, from your old cameras. Um, you know, cause oftentimes, you know, I'll see pictures from these fancy, fancy cameras and, you know, they're taking them when it's still really dark out. Um, the lighting isn't good. I mean, your camera isn't going to make it, you know, a perfect picture when you got terrible weather conditions, if it's too dark or if it's real harsh sunlight. I mean, you got to figure all that in when you're taking the picture. And that's what I try to do when I'm doing mine. I mean, I try to take as good of a picture, <clears throat> excuse me, as I can. So I don't have to do all the stuff on Photoshop. I mean, yeah, I still use some Photoshop, but I don't, I mean, I don't know all the ins and outs of it. There's so much to it. I just know the basics, just like my camera. I know, you know, I know what, what how to set my shutter speed, what it does, the aperture, you know, you just got to know those things. It's going to take time. And what I also suggest is practice. I mean, when I first started doing this, I was going out probably just about every day. I mean, it wasn't, you know, hours a day, but I'd be out at least 15, 20 minutes. And, you know, I was just shooting anything, any birds that come by. And if you practice, I mean, whether it be a starlet, a house sparrow, a pigeon, a morning dove, robins, you know, you take it, when you finally get a good picture of that bird and you look at your, the histogram and everything's done right, then it just, it starts coming to you. It's like, hey, this is how I do it. So when a, a, a neat bird that I want to photograph, you know, offers me that same situation, I'm, I'm ready. Because when I first started, I mean, there was just millions of things that come into my head. It's like, man, is my shutter speed right? Is my ISO right? You know, all this stuff. I, I would just freeze and, and you know, naturally the bird would fly away. I didn't get a picture. And, you know, once you start getting more confident with that, you won't believe, you know, how much better your photography will be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for all the tips today. And that's all the time that we have, but we appreciate it. And congratulations to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for everything. And I really enjoyed it. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.